Here's a video to show you on how, if you've got loyalty cards that won't go into the Apple wallet, how you can make them accessible on your iPhone, say when you go to the shops using a location um, tag. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna get your loyalty tag, your loyalty cards up in the app that you use, say that it's like Waitrose, Morrison's, Tesco's, um, whatever it is you have in America or whatever other country you use. Do a screenshot, which is uh, on the new iPhones, it's the power button on one of the, uh, the top volume button. Boom, screenshot that. Do that for each card you've got, then put it into a new folder in your Photos app and call that folder loyalty cards. Put them in there and I'm gonna show you how to do this, right? So you do that and you have them in there as a loyalty card as a screenshot because that's how, how they're gonna work. And then, uh, what you do is you go along to the shortcuts app on the iPhone, access the new automation and do create personal automation. And that will bring up a list there and you're gonna have the one that says arrive. And then uh, you're gonna go location, choose. Now this location, you're gonna set this for each of the places that you wanna use it. I'm, I'm banking that you probably just go to three or four stores all the time with the same cards. So. For me, I've gone into there and I'm choosing Tesco's because we do use a Tesco's reward card. And I'll scroll down through the list and I would choose the one that I want to go to, the one that's closest to me. On this one, I think I've choose the one in Callington or something, which is not where I am, but you know, privacy. So I click that one and it comes up, it says location, Tesco Superstore. Okay, so this automation will run when I get to Tesco Superstore. I can have any time or I can have a time range. Because I'm using this for a store card anytime, because it could be there anytime in the 24 hours, right? Hit the next button, you go to there. Now you wanna pull up the little bit at the bottom where it says search for apps and actions. In there, you wanna type, you wanna scroll down and you can find part way down there. You could probably do a search for this as well. There should be one that says find photos. Now when you find that piece that says find photos, touch that one and then it comes up like that on the screen. Find all photos. Now we're gonna to touch the add filter button and then that, once you hit the add filter button, will open that. It says where album is recents at the moment. Click on that recents word and then you will see in a list, a long list of folders on your iPhone and you wanna choose the one that says loyalty cards. That's pretty obvious, right? So. Now we've got find all photos where album is loyalty cards. So when you get to that location, it's gonna find that. But what we need it to do is we need it to show them. So you're gonna, at the bottom where it says all actions and you've got that X button next to it, hit that X button so it closes it and then pull up that little bar and start typing in there saying, right, show results. Show result, it says document show result. Choose that one. That'll add that to our uh, list of what we're gonna actually do. So now it says, find all photos where album is loyalty cards show photos. So at the bottom, there's a little play button, which is cut out on the screen if you're looking at this in a moment, because for some reason it won't display my whole iPhone when I put it into iMovie. So if I press this play button now, it's gonna run this so I can see what actually happens. So I hit the play button, up on the screen comes shows two results. Now it's gonna show the first card that's in the in that block. If I want another card, because now I can just scan that if I wanted to, this is what's gonna come up. It's gonna show that if I wanted to, I just press play when it gets there and then I can scan that. I don't even have to go into it. But if I want to choose another card, I touch on that, show all two results, or I touch on the picture, now I'm in that album, which is your wallet, right, for your cards. And then you can swipe left and right and choose whichever card you want and put it under the scanner. Now this is a lot easier because when you go to the shop, it's gonna come up with that run shortcut and then you just have to touch that and then press run and it will open this and show you it. So specifically what you can do is you could put each of these cards into their own loyalty folder and then link to that folder so that when you come up to Tesco's, it specifically just opens that and you only have that one action of the card coming up on the screen and then you just you know, put it under the scanner or at the till 
and then it's going to read it. So this stops you going into the app. It stops all that faffing around. It gives you access to that. Um, and that is pretty much all there is to it. And then you just go through that, obviously, to there. Go through that and uh, hit the done button. So now we're going to hit the next button and it says next. Done. You can see the thing it says when I arrive at Tesco Superstore, find photos where and show result. So then you hit the done button. Like I say, when you arrive at the shop at that location, a little notification comes up on your screen and you just press that and it'll say play. Just press play button and then it will show you that loyalty card. So when you get to the, so you don't even have to access it straight away. It's going to come up ding when you're in the shop. You walk around, do your shop and get to the till, pull your phone out, hit that, bump, and there's your card straight away for that. And then you could do your double press for your um, wallet to pay. It's the only way that I found that I can get away, get around it where apps have stopped allowing you to put cards into Apple Wallet because they want you to go into their app. They want you to, they want to track you. They want to, whatever else, sell you all this other stuff and other crap, all right? So that will work with any store cards you want and you can set them up individually. Obviously go into the individual, show this card, show this photo, which would be just the one, or you can just have it showing up on those two. And set the location, obviously where, location at the back, you, you press done on this and then you have to create a new automation and that is for your next store. So you'll end up with like maybe three or four stores. I know it's a faff, but once it's done, it's done. And it is uh, the only workaround that I know of to put your cards into the into a kind of wallet.